My name's Ashton Wolf and I live off the grid. Here's my house. As you can see, it's an earth ship. Um, I have several solar panels that provide all the power for my home, and that's only one of the things that makes it different. So come on inside and I'll show you all the rest. And the first thing you're gonna see is my greenhouse. Um, so these are airlocks. This is what helps control the temperature in the home. As you can see, I have 16 foot high ceilings and plenty of room for beautiful banana trees. All right, so obviously this is combined dining, living, and kitchen. Um, I do have a TV, I've got surround sound, I have a pretty killer sound system. You can still have all these things when you're off the grid. Um, over here, it's kind of messy in here, so I'm really sorry about that. But I do have, this is the power organizing module. So all of these areas, uh, this is what takes the solar power from the roof. There's actually a battery bank on top of the roof that takes all of that energy. Um, and we have silver uh, sort of lines that go up that are connecting to those batteries. This is a traditional circuit breaker box, an inverter and a charge controller. So the charge controller is controlling the charge of my batteries, making sure they're not under or overcharged. The inverter is gonna take the DC current from the batteries and invert it into alternating AC current so that I can have things like internet, television, computer, that sort of stuff. This is my laundry room. As you can see, I have a pretty regular washer and dryer. Um, you know, you can still have all these things. Back there, where I have tons of storage right now and everything is really, um, you know, not, not looking great, <laughs> um, I have my water organizing module. So what that is, is it's a series of filters uh, that the water from the cisterns is pumped and uh, pressurized through so that I have filtered rainwater to drink and to bathe in. So here is my planter. Here you can see I'm getting two bananas. I'm really excited about them. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> so right now I'm just doing mainly ornamental plants. These are just really easy to maintain. So here's the bathroom. So as you can see, it looks pretty normal. There's a regular flush toilet. It's not like, you know, an outhouse or some kind of crazy, um, I don't even know, compost toilet or something like that. Earth ships will do those occasionally, but this one's pretty normal. Um, I also have a really normal shower. You know, just a traditional tub. It looks pretty, pretty normal in here, I don't know. <laughs> um, right this way, you'll see my bedroom. So I actually just got these closets made and I'm really excited about them. Let me turn the light on. So here you can see um, they're really tall. They're actually about 10 feet in height. Uh, just sliding sort of um, smoky glass. So that was one of the built-ins that I had made once I bought the home. And my back airlock is completely filled with things that I'm about to sell at my community yard sale. But you can see there's a little airlock back in here. So all of that will be gone by the time you guys come, I promise. Grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, I lived there for my first 18 years, and then I moved to New York City. I moved to Brooklyn. I went to Pratt Institute for Film and Media Arts, and I continued to live there for about six years. It was like November of 2008 when I was planning on moving back, and the crash had just happened. So that was not a good time to be in the city. Um, as soon as I realized that, a lot of my friends were actually moving from uh, Clinton Hill, Brooklyn to Squirrel Hill, Pittsburgh, oddly. And I went to go visit them and I loved it. I just fell in love with Pittsburgh. While I was in Pittsburgh, my boyfriend and I actually came to Taos on vacation. And we discovered these crazy homes called Earthships. I came and I stayed in a lot of different rentals in different times of the year. I mean, I didn't believe that Earthships maintain their temperature uh, throughout all different seasons. I thought that that was just, that's gotta be a crock. I didn't believe it, you know? So I came and I tried different ones and um, they did. I mean, they worked beautifully. Moving off the grid was definitely a risky move. Um, you know, I didn't know that much about it. I had sort of educated myself a little bit through online, reading books and all of that. Um, you don't really know what it's like until you do it. Kind of dealing with family and friends reactions was interesting and it, it, it made me a little bit nervous, um, especially, you know, with something like a large investment in a home. And this is a really different kind of home, so I'm definitely going against the grade. And I don't know how this home's going to appreciate or depreciate or, you know, what the real estate market's going to do. It's just such a niche, uh, you know, odd, unique thing. So that was definitely really risky. Oh, the other major risk 
was the fact that I don't have a job here. I didn't know what I was going to do for work. Um, you know, I moved here with a certain amount of savings and I was able to, you know, purchase a house with that savings, but that was pretty much all there was. So what am I going to do after I have my Earthship? That was the big conundrum. Uh, luckily, you know, soon after I moved here, Earthship Biotexture actually offered me a job. So now I am working for the company that built my house and it's pretty exciting. When I first looked at Earthships, I really was looking at sort of these designs that were so amazing and so flowy and organic, artistic, you know, they're like sculptures. Um, and further along in my search, I really found that I kind of could either have that or I could have something that was really, really functional. And so I sort of gave up form for function. Um, I love my global model now. I can't imagine living anywhere else. I think it functions beautifully. It takes very good care of me. Uh, Earthships are really interesting. It's like this symbiotic relationship between the person and the house. You know, the house really provides everything that you need. It's, it's just really amazing and very freeing to live without bills. And um, I can't imagine going back to a regular house.